Hello everyone. In this lecture, we'll see a problem based on type two of this uh, non-homogeneous differential equations. A problem is solve y double dash minus four y dash plus thirteen y equal to cos of two x. Solution. So the given differential equation, we can rewrite it as this equation. We can rewrite it as d square y. Minus 4d of y plus 13y equal to cos of 2x. So this is non-homogeneous equation. So right hand side, this is the phi of x function, which is in the form for here cos of 2x. So which belongs to our type 2. So for before that, so we have to simplify left hand side. Uh, from the left hand side, we are going to get what here yc. That is complementary function. So from the left hand side, you take y common. So it will become d square minus 4d plus 13. Of y equal to what here cos of 2x. So from this bracket we are going to get a uh, roots. So therefore auxiliary equation is. So auxiliary equation is. So convert this d in terms of m. So m square minus 4m plus 13 equal to zero. So we have to simplify and we have to get a uh, root from this. So let's see the root here. Now you can observe here. So using calculator, we'll get the roots. So that is m square minus 4m plus 13. So go for uh, mode, then option five. Then we'll go for the uh, th option three because it is a quadratic equation. So option three. So coefficient of m square is one. Then coefficient of m is minus four. Then constant is 13. So therefore, we are going to get a uh, root as 2 plus 3i. And the second root is two minus three. So therefore, the auxiliary roots are the auxiliary equation roots are that is m is equal to actually it is two plus or minus i three. So according to this, it is root two uh, plus or minus i three. So therefore, we got uh, two roots with plus sign one root and with minus sign another root. So with this, which is nothing but a complex uh, root. So we can write a uh, Complementary function as, therefore, thus, the complementary function that is y c is equal to, so real part is two, so e raised to two x bracket cos of three x plus, sorry, c one into cos of three x plus c two into sine of three x. So we got an complementary function. So, with the help of complementary function, so we, as per the question, so this is a what here, a, a non-homogeneous differential equation. So here, I can say that here, phi of x value is cos of 2x, which is right hand side value. So therefore, with the help of this phi of x, we can go for what here, particular integral. So therefore, now the particular integral. So therefore, in short, I will write y p is equal to So, which is phi of x divided by f of d. So, phi of x is nothing but so phi value is cos of 2x. So, f of d. So, f of d is nothing but the coefficient of this entire uh, coefficient of y. This entire bracket that is d square minus 4d plus 13. We have to write it here. That is d square minus 4d plus 13. Okay, plus 13 here. So now. Here, the value of a here a is two, so the coefficient of x is a is two. So therefore, replace replace d square is equal to minus times two square, which is nothing but minus as it is two square is four. Here, don't go for minus two whole square. So formula says minus times the a square value. So therefore, minus as it is uh, two square will be four. So d square will be replaced by minus four. So in the above expression, so therefore p i will become or y p will be. So y p is equal to cos of two x divided by this d square will be replaced by minus four. Minus this four d as it is, because we are not replacing in d value here. We are replacing only d square value. Be careful. Plus thirteen. So on simplification, this will become cos of 2x divided by so minus 4. So minus 4 plus 13. So if you see that, so it will become 
uh, plus 9. So, I will write plus value first, then this minus 4d. But here, so denominator is contains again d. So, to eliminate this d, so we have to rationalize what here? The denominator, we have to take the conjugate. So, conjugate of this 9 minus 4d is 9 plus 4d divided by 9 plus 4d. Means, we have to divide and multiply 9 plus 4d. So, therefore, what happens to yp? So, we will see here. So, yp is equal to cos 2x into this bracket. Cos of 2x into 9 plus 4d divided by a 9 minus 4d 9 plus 4d means a minus b a plus b so a minus b a plus b the formula is what here a square minus b square so a value is 9 here in this expression so 9 square minus 4d whole square so which is nothing but so first we will uh, simplify for the denominator that is the numerator will keep as it cos of 2x into the bracket 9 plus 4d keep as it is divided by 9 square will be 81 minus 4 square will be 16 and d whole square will become d square. So again in the denominator we got d square if you got d square we have to apply the same rule that is d square will be replaced by what here minus 4. So therefore replace replace d square is equal to minus 4 so therefore the above expression will become that is yp is equal to cos of 2x into 9 plus 4d this bracket will be as it is divided by if you replace 81 as it is 16 also as it is d square will be replaced by minus 4 so therefore so cos of 2x into 9 plus 4d i will keep as it is now we will go for what here 81 minus 16 so minus into minus plus so 81 plus 16 into 4 if you go for that so it will become 145 now we will go for the simplification of the numerator that is yp is equal to denominator is 145 keep as it is so open cos 2x into 9 so it will become 9 cos of 2x plus into plus is plus 4d so 4d into cos of 2x which is nothing but this 9 cos 2x plus 4 as it is d stand for differentiation so this d capital d stand for d by dx so d by dx of cos 2x you need to go for that formula so d by dx of cos 2x is a differentiation of cos 2x is minus sin of 2x into differentiation of 2x is 2 whole divided by 145 as it is so therefore the final particular integral that is yp is that is you have to simplify so plus into minus is minus 4 to the 8 so it will become 9 cos 2x plus uh, minus 4 8 sin 2x divided by 145 so that is the value of yp so let's see that so yp is equal to 9 cos 2x minus 8 sin of 2x divided by 145 so this is the required value of yp therefore the general solution is given by the general solution is that is y is equal to yc plus yp it is so therefore y is equal to yc value we got from the complementary function which answer we got it as e raised to 2x into c1 into cos of 3x plus c2 into sin of 3x this is yc plus yp answer we got this completely that is we have to write as it is that is 9 times cos of 2x minus 8 times sin of 2x divided by 145 so this is a required general solution of the type 